Hey Z Stars, what's good in the Hedges Girl Zara, popularly known as Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Now, today we're going to talk about the fact that I've literally been using Grease again for more than three years. And without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. I don't want to waste your time since it's been a while. But of course, before we do, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see from me. Let me know if you're excited about this video. Please be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. Please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. And last but can never, ever, ever be least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get right into this video. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at fxzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at fxzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to, so that's the best place to reach me. Now, I'm obsessed with Greece. Grease has been a staple in my hair care routine. It's made my hair thrive. And I'm going to give you seven fairly succinct reasons as to why that has been the case for me. My hair is in a much better position than it ever has been. It's longer than it ever has been. And of course you all are seeing that in these side clips. Number one, my scalp is extremely healthy. Now it does not itch. There's no scalp irritation and there's no scalp fungus. How have I achieved this? A very consistent regimen of actually greasing my scalp, funnily enough. Now what I actually am fond of doing on my wash day after washing my hair is spritzing my scalp with one of my hair spritzes, which you all can find in my recipe bible, which is linked in the top right as well as down below in the description box. After that, I like to use my hair grease. Now I have a formula actually for sulfur eight, which you can find again in the top right corner. It's my own special little mixture. You can also find some variants of that in my recipe Bible. Now my scalp is more prone to dryness. And one thing that dermatologists recommend when you suffer from dry skin in general is to seal with something very occlusive. That occlusive that they gravitate towards is petrolatum. Now a lot of people have the misconception that it clogs the pores, but it's actually non-comedogenic. And I debunked all of these myths in this video here about the lies about Greece. I don't remember the title, but y'all can still click in the cards to check that video out. And I also have a playlist which is available in the cards featuring all my videos about Greece. But that short digression aside, I love using grease on my scalp because it keeps my very dry scalp ultra moisturized for days on end. Now the grease has completely eradicated my dry scalp issues. It's safe to say that and if you suffer from dry scalp, you might consider using this method. Now of course I shampoo my scalp and my hair very well prior to doing this, but um, yeah, this might work well for you. Give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Number two, my hair no longer breaks off at the ends. It's so well maintained that it's just happy. My hair is very, very happy and at peace. Now, the reason why my hair is actually able to retain this length now is because it's extremely moisturized, very well lubricated. It is stretched for the most part. It is uniformed. And of course I prepped it exceptionally well with my moisturizing routine. Now one of the key components of my own moisture routine again is my hair spritz. Now, like I said, I have a variety of hair spritzes for different hair needs. Now I'm currently battling hair fall and I want to grow my hair more quickly. I want it to increase in density. I just want my hair to be fuller and longer, right? So the hair spritz that I use is tailored to these needs. After spraying that on my hair and my scalp, again, I grease my scalp and I make sure that I use one of my homemade greases on the ends of my hair. My ends are like three to four inches. I don't play with my ends. My hair is quite long. 
so I make sure that I'm very generous with my application of grease. I don't put it on the body of my hair, I put other oils that I make on the body of my hair. But ultimately what I found is that this routine keeps my hair, again, very, very moisturized for a long period of time. Not only that, but it's really uniform. It's like having a rope. When a rope is bundled together, it's difficult to break off pieces. But when the rope is frayed, you can easily cut off pieces. That's essentially how I approach my hair care. Now 99% of the time my hair is in a protective style because I can't shout. And again, it's really long, so I don't like to stress myself having to do it or manipulate it. Prior to incorporating grease, I could not keep moisture in my ends and my ends were breaking off rapidly. It was disgusting. I was actually personally offended by the state of my hair before. But with the addition of grease and regular trims to get rid of the damage that occurred due to the absence of grease, my ends are so strong and so solid. They don't break for any reason. I do not see any of those mini hairs in the sink or on the floor any longer. I'm really satisfied with how grease has made my hair feel. Number three, my hair is very even because it doesn't break off. Now, I'm the kind of person that's super obsessed with even hair. Because I've been greasing my hair very regularly, it no longer breaks off. To say I'm satisfied is an understatement. I'm elated, I'm ecstatic, I'm relieved because that's something that actually stunted my growth for a very long time. Now my hair is growing and retaining length and it's even as it's growing. I don't have to trim very much, though I'm a little super happy, so I kind of do. And even with my frequent trims, my hair is still going at a very quick pace. Hey, my Z stars. So before we move on, I have a few questions for you all. Do you use grease? If so, what are your thoughts about it? If you don't use grease, is it something you can consider? Have you ever made your own grease at home? Have you purchased my recipe Bible? If so, have you made any of the greases in it? What do you use underneath your hair grease? What did you learn from the video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Number four, my hair is shiny. Now for me, this is two prongs. Now the grease, of course, is very reflective, so it can easily make hair even damaged hair appear to be very shiny. But the other component is that my hair is so deeply moisturized that it's easy for the cuticle to lay down and for it to reflect light in a way that's really visually appealing. So my hair is actually shinier, again, more beautiful, just all around more wonderful than it's ever been. And people compliment my hair all the time. One of my friends actually, we were going out and he was just looking at my hair. He was saying, wow, your hair is literally becoming fuller and fuller every day. And he touched and he was like, and it's so soft. And I was like, it's grease. Of course. Like I said, I like to make my own greases. Now I know a lot of you may not like to buy grease because they're made by white people and non-black people. They ultimately do not support our communities, our endeavors, our industries, our people. So alternately, if that's why you're anti-grease, like I said, I make my own greases. I have homemade greases down below. In the description box, you can access them via my recipe Bible, which is only $20 for more than 40 recipes. Now it's gotten stellar reviews, which I will post on another screen for you all to see. Number five, my single strand knots have reduced significantly. And the reason why that is, is because my hair again is uniformed, it is stretched, it is well lubricated, it is deeply moisturized. Now the thing that I'm really highlighting here is that lubrication. Because the grease lubricates my hair so well, it's easy for the hair to slide past itself, which prevents the formation of single strand knots. Now any of you that have single strand knots know that single strand knots are literally like the bane of every natural existence, but I don't get single strand knots period because of the way I maintain my hair, because of the fact that I'm so consistent with using grease. 
So another reason why I'm really pleased with this decision to use grease and something that I've noticed is that these greases that I'm using are significantly less irritating than other types of products that I used to use on my hair and my scalp. Now of course part of the reason why that is is because I'm making my own greases. Description box down below and carts right above us. But um yeah that's made my life significantly easier. I'm less prone to allergic reactions as a result of my usage of grease grease and other products. So making my own grease and using it for this amount of time has been really beneficial for me. Number seven. Now I've already touched on this a bit, but my hair is extremely moisturized and super, super soft. Everyone who touches my hair is in awe at the texture. Mind you, my hair is not naturally soft. My hair is naturally Brillo pad texture. My sister's hair is naturally soft, but because of the incorporation of grease and certain types of moisturizers, as well as my other homemade recipes slash formulas, my hair has been thriving so, so, so much. Now, I would recommend products to you, but the best products I've used thus far are the ones that I've made in my own kitchen or laboratory i mean whatever you want to call it <laughs> so again you all can get those down below the homemade grease especially has been a staple in my hair care routine i'm very pleased again with the outcome of my hair as a consistent user of hair grease like i said i know that a lot of you are opposed to buying hair grease because of who owns these greases but you can just make your own at home now, if you all have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And last but never ever least, subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video.